12. Come on now. Still going 12. It's coasting nicely. I've got the revs at 2,500. 3,000. We're slowly losing speed. There we go. Out of all the electronics, the only thing left in place is the speed sensor. Which we'll be unplugging as well. We need to get the box to engage reverse mechanically. Now we try 40. Wonderful! What's that smell? If this car had a manual, I'd say that's the clutch. It's not a pleasant smell. This is going much better after disconnecting the speed sensor. Can I just reconnect the gear selector plug? Give me a few seconds. Okay, we're gonna do 40. The speedometer doesn't work. So I'll be waiting for a signal from the car driving next to me. That's 40. Damn it. It's not having it. It has no idea that I'm throwing it into reverse. I had a few good runs, but that's it. We're done here. Okay, fellas, I guess that's a wrap. Something very strange is happening to the car. So right now I have the gearbox in drive, and for the car to move forward I have to give it like five and a half thousand revs. Look at that. I can even bring it up to six grand. Meanwhile, look at how fast we're going. This thing's not accelerating. And here's the most interesting part. We were expecting something to happen, of course, but definitely not something this horrible. So check out what happens when I engage reverse. Right now I have the gear selector in R, and it used to back up with zero hesitation. I'm riding the limiter at six and a half thousand, and the car's barely even moving. So yeah, it doesn't drive in reverse anymore.